So welcome to our 2022 Hispanic Heritage Month closing ceremony. I really appreciate everyone to be here today. And I'm gonna say a few words uh, before we do the national anthem. Um, today, I have the privilege uh, and an honor not to only be here in front of you, but to have my dad from Puerto Rico to be here. I appreciate that to be here. And at this moment, we're going to uh, start with the National Anthem. Amazing. Great job. And now we're going to have the invocation with Pastor Daniel Reyes. Thank you, Christopher, for this honor. Gracias, Chris, por este honor. And if I can invite you to bow your heads. Si, le pido que inclinen su rostro. As we pray. Mientras que oramos. Heavenly Father. Padre Celestial. You have made of one man. Tú que has hecho de un hombre. And one blood. Y una sangre. All the people of the earth. Toda la gente de la tierra. Countless individuals. Innumerables individuals. Of multiple ethnicities. De múltiples etnias. Languages. Idiomas. Cultures. Culturas. And traditions. Y tradiciones. We thank you. Te damos gracias because each one of these porque cada una de estas is fearfully and wonderfully made. Fueron formidable y maravillosamente creadas. And this plurality y esa pluralidad in our global community en nuestra comunidad global denotes denota your creative mind tu mente creativa and your supreme greatness. Y grandeza suprema. Thank you Gracias that each one of these groups que cada uno de estos grupos have been blessed han sido bendecidos with distinct gifts and talents. Con dotes distintos y talentos. And as you have said, y como has dicho, we've been created in Christ Jesus fuimos creados en Cristo Jesús for good works para buenas obras that you have prepared beforehand que preparaste de antemano that we should walk in them. 
que anduviésemos en ellas. Today, Hoy, as we bring to a close al clausurar the events of our city's Hispanic Heritage Month, los eventos del mes de la herencia hispana, we bless you te bendecimos for the contributions por las contribuciones that Hispanic Americans have made que hispanoamericanos han hecho and will continue to make y seguirán haciendo on behalf of the city of Cleveland a favor de la ciudad de Cleveland and our country y de nuestro país. May we never take for granted que nunca debemos por sentado the color that we bring el color que traemos to the multicolored garments al vestido múltiples colores that our country dons de nuestro país. Wearing it with with dignity and prestige. Usándolo con dignidad y prestigio. We ask you to grant the greater Latino community. Pedimos que otorgue a la mayor comunidad de Latinos. Here and abroad. Aquí en, y en el exterior. Your divine care and protection. Tu cuidado y protección divina. Enable us to always learn. Permítenos a siempre aprender. From de and appreciate each other. Y apreciarnos unos a otros. Make us strong and vital. Haznos fuertes y vitales. Use the virtues you've equipped us with. Usa nuestras virtudes con que nos has capacitado. That our community would be enriched. Para que nuestra comunidad sea enriquecida. And lifted up. Y enaltecida. And that our nation. Y que nuestra nación. Would become stronger and prosperous. Sea más fuerte y próspera. This for your glory. Esto para tu gloria. And now dear Lord. Y ahora Señor nuestro. No event is complete Ningún evento será completo without your presence and touch. Sin tu presencia y toque. So we ask your blessing Así que pedimos tu bendición on the meal we're about to partake sobre of. La comida de la que vamos a participar. Thank you. Gracias. And we declare in advance y declaramos en anticipación that the food will be tasty to our palate que los alimentos serán sabrosos a nuestro paladar and agreeable to our bodies y agradable a nuestros cuerpos. And that each detail y que cada detalle of this night's program del programa de esta noche will be positively memorable. Será positivamente memorable. We ask this Pedimos esto in the mighty name of Jesus Christ en el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo, our Lord and Savior nuestro Señor y Salvador, and we all say y todos decimos, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, Señora Esposa. Muchas gracias. This year, we have recognized the contribution of the vital presence of our Hispanic and Latinos. And this year theme is a vision for the future. Una visión para el futuro. It's a method for setting goals and a plot to pat to reach the thing. In other words, it is a theme to plan a method, be created, persistent, and hardworking person. It is a time to look forward, vision the future, and leave a legacy for our future generation. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who efforts made this event a success. Thank you, Mayor Justin Pitt and our new director, Angela Woodson, for your constant support and always advocated for the Hispanic community. I would like to take a knowledge of Chief Paul Patton, Council President Blaine Griffin, Ward 14 Councilwoman Santana, Judge Wanda Jones, and Alicia Hernandez, Director of Community Development. I will, I will also like to thank the Planning Committee and the Hispanic Advisory Board that make this event possible. All of, their, all of their hard work and dedication to ensure the success of all the planning of the events. Last but not least, I want to thank all the sponsors for their continued support for all the events of the Hispanic Heritage Month. Our diamond sponsor, Sloan Funeral Home, thank you. Gold sponsor, Las Villa Deli and Pastry. Dignity Memorial, thank you. Silver sponsor, Amatex Staffing, thank you. Uh, Job Corps. Thank you. And La Mega Cleveland. I know she's right there. Thank you. Thank you for everything. And now it's a privilege to introduce you our MC for the night, Mr. Jorge Ramos Pantoja.
Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. I have to say, it is great to see every single one of you in person once again. Can I get an applause, please? Thank you. I'm Jorge Ramos Pantoja, local journalist and activist, and it's truly an honor to be your host for tonight, closing ceremony of Hispanic Heritage Month. Before we begin with tonight's event, I would like to welcome um, Thaisha Dennelly, City of Cleveland Community Relations Manager, for some opening remarks. Please welcome Thaisha Dennelly. Good evening and welcome. Uh, Director Woodson is not able to be with us this evening. Um, I will share remarks from her, but before I do, I'd like to thank everyone who has come out for this event this evening and uh, thank Christopher, it's Christopher? Santa Christopher. Who's Chris? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'd like to thank Christopher Martinez, who organized this event, did a beautiful job. And I want to thank all of you for coming out and taking part in the closing ceremony of the Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, I'm going to read Director Woodson's uh, remarks. Please forgive me for not being physically in attendance with the closing events today. I deeply regret I am not here with you but I can't imagine how amazing everything this evening is. As part of the Hispanic Heritage Month, it is the Community Relations Board pleasure to be hosting this event. This event allows us to celebrate the wisdom and foundation that our own Hispanic community has accomplished and continues to build upon in our great city. This year's theme, A Vision for the Future, is acknowledging the vision we have and how to continue to build even more for our future. Our Community Relations Board is committed to uplifting the diversity within our great city. And we recognize the Hispanic community as one of the fastest growing cultures in our nation. Not only the fastest growing in our nation, but also here in Cleveland. As always, we are proud to be working with you. In closing, we wish to thank you for your wisdom, your continued work, and your shared history as it plays a major role in the cultural fabric, fabric of Cleveland. Enjoy the final days of the celebration for this year's Hispanic Heritage Month and we are looking forward to hosting you again next year. Thank you so much, and welcome to City Hall. Thank you, Ms. Natalie. Now I would like to officially welcome all City of Cleveland Council members, staff members, chiefs and directors, and every single one of you who are present here tonight. Continuing with tonight's program, it's truly my honor to present tonight's keynote speaker, Claudia de Leon. Claudia Ivette de Leon is co-owner and chief operating officer of La Mega Media. Before acquiring the company, she served as a, as a vice president for nearly 10 years during the TSA media direction. De Leon was born in West Lago, Texas to Mexican parents. Any Mexicans in the house tonight? Love it. Before she moved to Columbus, Ohio in 2003, 2003 with a full academic scholarship to attend the Ohio State University and graduated in 2017. She enrolled in Capital Law School in 2010 and while at Ohio State, De Leon served as the chairwoman of the University-wide Council of Hispanic Organizations and initiated a Hispanic leadership program through the Multicultural Center's Hispanic Student Services. She received the Ohio Senate Commendation for Outstanding Hispanic Leadership in 2004 and recognition for outstanding activism from the Mexican Consulate in Indianapolis in 2005. 
focus on education and leadership development for emerging communities, De Leon held office and served as an active member of the League of United Latin American Citizens of Ohio from 2010 to 2011. Committed to her passion for education, De Leon also served on the board of Columbus Bilingual Academies from 2012 to 2014, and today continues to serve as an inspiration for all of us. Please welcome to tonight, tonight's keynote speaker, Claudia De Leon. Gracias, Jorge. Thank you so much. Buenas noches. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Chris, for being a partner with La Mega Media for all of these years and always being willing to help. So today we're going to talk about a vision for the future. A vision is a picture of the future that produces passion. Una visión es una imagen del futuro que produce pasión. If there is ever a word to describe if there was ever a word other than Latino that unites and describes many of us in this room, it is precisely that, passion. In order for, look, for us to look at the vision for the future, let us, let us look first at what has brought us to where we are today. When we think of the Latino community, and in today's special celebratory case of our Hispanic heritage, it is easy for us to base these thoughts on national numbers. We hear everywhere of how the Latino community is influencing everything from employment to consumer trends to music to general pop culture and many times all of this attention is centered around larger cities across the United States where there is a more prominent Latino community. In Ohio, the Latino community, although continuously growing, only constitutes about 5% of the Hispanic population. However, the city of Cleveland is such a special city when we consider our Hispanic heritage. Though Cleveland's Spanish-speaking community did not grow as rapidly as those in Florida or California, it was, in 1990, the largest linguistically defined segment of the local population. A study from Case Western Reserve tells us that 20,290 individuals in Greater Cleveland spoke Spanish, composed of migrants from Puerto Rico and immigrants from Cuba, Mexico, South and Central America, and Spain, this segment of Cleveland's population has been referred to as Hispanic or Latino. Organizations such as the Hispanic Cultural Center and special government offices, such as the Mayor's Hispanic Liaison, serve the needs of the overall community. Fast forward to 2014, when La Mega was born in Cleveland, and when I personally came into the picture of what quickly became my favorite city in Ohio. Don't tell anyone in Columbus. This is a city where I learned what being Latino in Ohio is all about, and this is actually very true. While Columbus, Cincinnati, and Dayton, all cities where La Mega has operations, have a magnificent and vibrant Latino community, the majority of the Latino population in those cities is more transient. Cleveland, on the other hand, has one of the oldest Latino populations in the state of Ohio. The pride, the joy, the history of Latinos in Cleveland is so fulfilling and so contagious that if you're not from the area, you quickly learn why Clevelanders are Clevelanders, even beyond our ethnicity. <clears throat> My heritage is Mexicana, but in Cleveland, I came to understand the pride of Puerto Ricans. ¿Dónde están los boricuas? ¿Hay boricuas aquí? Mucho Boricua. <laughs> Today, the largest Latino group in Cleveland is Puerto Rican, followed by Mexicans, and a growing number of those descending from other Latin American countries. What has amazed me the most about Cleveland is the large number of nonprofit organizations serving our communities here. Prior to La Mega establishing its Northeastern Ohio roots, the communication and organization was done primarily through the established nonprofits and organizations that have had an opportunity to work with, like the Spanish American Committee, the Hispanic Roundtable, El Barrio, Esperanza, the Hispanic Business Center, and Northeast Ohio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, among many others, have truly done an amazing job of leading, providing direction, exposing, and truly pampering our community. It is a combined, the combined work of the nonprofit organizations serving our community in Cleveland that have united us as a Latino group to be able to serve and in turn to allow our community to grow to become better informed, notable consumers, 
and above all, served in such a way that acknowledges our heritage, language, and culture. I'd like to take a moment to also acknowledge our Latino entrepreneurs we have, who have really set foot in allowing our community to be showcased locally and show what our work ethic is. How many of you here own a business in Cleveland? Hispanic-owned businesses play an important role in the U.S. economy. As the fastest largest segment of the U.S. business ecosystem, the number of Hispanic-grown businesses has grown 34% over the last 10 years, compared to just 1% for other small businesses across almost all industries. This growth, this accomplishment is impressive, and we're just getting started. I'm aware that we probably have two different audiences tonight, as it relates to myself and La Mega, those of you who are involved with La Mega Media and know something about us, and those who are here are guests and may, not, and may know little of what we do outside of providing the best Latino music in town. So let me take a, few, a moment to say a few words about La Mega Media. La Mega Media is a radio broadcasting and newspaper publishing company that informs, educates, and of course, entert entertains, but what separates us from other media companies is our purpose. From inception, we understood that the quality and extent of our service to the community would determine our success. Therefore, our purpose is to meet the needs of the audi audiences that we reach in Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Northern Kentucky, Cleveland, and now in Pittsburgh, while also serving Hispanic communities with integrity. We will continue to focus on what is important to the community addressing issues like domestic violence, alcohol and drug abuse, immigration, mental health, nutrition, financial literacy, child care, child care and education. We aim to be the leading voice speaking to Hispanics in the Midwest and be viewed as the most trusted, reliable, and influential source for our communities. It is our intention to, to be the bridge that connects our community to other communities at large by sharing the same cultural values we teach our children which are the importance of good manners, politeness, honor, education, strong work ethics, and respect for our elders. As we look into our vision past 2022, we ask that you please join us in our quest. Juntos somos más. Many of our mothers will continuously tell us when we reluctantly do a shore, ¿Ves? ¿Qué te cuesta? All of us here share the same vision, and we all have an equal passion for our Latino culture and our Hispanic heritage. What a better way for us to honor our heritage than by serving, in collaboration for the well-being of our overall community. As we continue our quest and follow our passion, let us be aware of everyone's input and the common good. Whether you are Latino or you're not, if you are here, it's because you care, just like we care. Que te cuesta? Business owners, nonprofit leaders and contributors, government entities, and corporations that support us, thank you. May our future be even more promising than what our cumulative efforts have given, to get a, given us to get us here today. No nos cuesta nada, y la respuesta es muy grande. I want to thank once again Chris and the City of Cleveland for inviting us here and all of you that I've had the opportunity of working with over the past few years. We're committed to serving our community. We're committed to showcasing the amazing culture that unites all of us. And we're committed to collaborating with the groups that are here today. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Que te cuesta. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Claudia, and congratulations. The City of Cleveland would like to present you with the recognition. She took a picture. We're taking a photo. Right here?
Congratulations, Claudia, once again. Let's give her a round of applause. All right. We would like to continue our program now with um, a couple of recognitions for um, a handful of city leaders here in, in the city of Cleveland. Um, to help me do that, I would like to call on stage Mr. Kevin Schmatzer, small business executive and LGBTQ liaison for the city of Cleveland. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Thank you. Buenas noches, amigos. How is everybody? Um, I have the honor of, uh, for all of you, to recognize someone I've gotten to know over the last couple of years. I consider her a colleague and a friend, but I want to tell you a little bit about her before I uh, introduce you. Marcel Martinez was born in Ayaco, Puerto Rico, and grew up in Barrio Palomas. I'm going to quote her. I immigrated here or came here to Cleveland at the age of three. <clears throat> Moving to Ohio for a new start, Martino's and her mom in the back over there. I settled in Cleveland's near west side and found a home among very familiar faces. Quote, when I was younger, my parents were involved in the Latino club, so I grew up in that setting, Martina said. I made many friends at the clubs. Believe it or not, outside of that, you know, people became all my family. After high school, she would sit out in different parts of the United States, like New Jersey and California. However, Cleveland was home. In the years that followed, Martinez used her voice to advocate for causes she believed in quickly and became one of the most recognized leaders of the Hispanic community. But I want to also tell you, from my personal perspective and our friends who are at Table 13, she is also one of the most recognized faces in the LGBTQ plus community. I want all of you to make it very loud and please welcome to accept this honor, Marisol Martinez. First of all, let me say, I have a fear of speaking in front of a crowd, and here I am with all this attention. So that's why I wrote something down. Um, uh, woo, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, first of all, I want to thank the city of Cleveland for this recognition. Thank you, Mayor Justin Bibb, to the Director of Community Relations, Angela Shute. Um, Woodson and her staff, Lisa Guzman Roman, Chris Martinez, and our LGBTQ liaison, Kevin Smaltzer. Thank you to my mom um, for your love and support. Thank you to Phyllis Seven Harris, the director of the LGBTQ Center of Greater Cleveland, for your guidance and mentorship for taking this Latina under your wing and encouraging me when I wanted to quit. <laughs> As a queer Latina, it wasn't easy coming out to my family and friends. I was scared of rejection from, my, from society, my family, and God. But God don't make mistakes. He gave me the courage to be me and he will be the only one to judge me when the time comes. To my friends, I thank you for your unconditional love and support. Some of you have LGBTQ children. And tonight, I honor you, which is why I asked you to be here tonight. Um, well, I honor you because in a world full of hate, you choose to love and support your child unconditionally. You provide a safe space, which many don't have, leaving my brothers and sisters out on the streets where they are homeless, suicidal, 
or become victims of hate crimes, which LGBTQ Latinos face more than 35% compared to our white counterparts. As Latinos, you can make a difference. March with a set pride, vote, support your local nonprofit organizations, as well as businesses who are diverse, equal, and inclusive. I have been blessed by working for an organization, University Hospitals, UH Parma, who are taking quicker steps to doing just that. Today, I was on a panel at work for Hispanic Heritage Month. And one of the subjects I brought up was how to retain and recruit medical professionals to help our Latino community. Please get involved in these groups at your job. Let them know that as Latinos, we should, have, we should be represented. I also want to thank Daniel Budish and Betsy Figge of Studio West 117, who are making sure LGBTQ Latinos are, rep are represented in their project by having this Latina as part of their management team and project. <laughs> Finally, this recognition is for my Latino LGBTQ hermanos y hermanas who have been murdered for wanting to be themselves. Where does hate get you? Mi sangre es roja como la tuya. Dígale no al odio, porque unidos somos más fuerte. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Marisol. Congratulations. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, now we would like to recognize someone very well known in the community, Mr. Angel Ortiz. After the disaster of Hurricane Maria that hit Puerto Rico, Angel and his team were able to start collecting items and aid with the help of Maria Maldonado and Margie Colon, which made it possible to send 500,000 pounds of food and 10 trailers of aid to Puerto Rico. Angelo is currently the president of Rubon Melon. He is the host of 89.3 FM radio, Angelo Salsa Show. Angelo is, very active, is a very active person who cares for the Hispanic community and likes to walk the extra mile to help others. Please welcome Angelo Ortiz. Okay. I want to thank everybody for having me, uh, City of Cleveland for having me, and and I want to recognize also, not only I did the the collection for Maria Hurricane. It was my team, Margie Colon, Irvin Maldonado, Anna Rodriguez, and his wife Jose Acevedo, and the committee of the San Lorenzo Club. And last but not least. Uh, the community of Cleveland, they came together and supported us immensely. Uh, I also want to rec uh, recognize the crew that's out there right now in Puerto Rico happening. Rosa Cruz and the New Era Young Lords that are out there with boots on the ground right now. They're, they're doing what we're not doing right now. And I want to acknowledge that. Uh, took me five years to receive this. I hope it don't take those in Puerto Rico but one year to recognize them. Thank you. Congratulations, Angela. Felicidades. Once again, congratulations. Let's give him a round of applause. And continuing with tonight's recognitions, I would like to call on stage David Rodriguez.
David is currently a therapist for Catholic Charities, Hispanic Services Office. He was born in Cleveland, Ohio, and raised in Santa Isabel, Puerto Rico. Rodriguez came to Cleveland, where he was, where he's been here for 23 years, working with the Hispanic population. He carries a social services degree in community and mental health from the Cuyahoga Community College, and he holds an alcohol and chemical dependency, dependency special program of study in the Human Services Program. He's helped many people to change their lives as a therapist. Currently, he's a vice president of the Rumbon Melon Festival Committee. He enjoys collecting salsa compilations and writing on his off time with La Mega, La Mega Nota, the Spanish newspaper. His favorite pastime is riding his bicycle and listening to music. After the pandemic, he got involved promoting the COVID vaccination clinics and fighting substance abuse in the community. Please welcome David Rodriguez. I only have 30 seconds. Well, first of all, I want to allow, I want to thank God and the city of Cleveland for this honor. And also, I want to say thank you to my second family, the Johnson Rodriguez family right here. They always support me. And what else can I say? Thank you so much. Que viva la raza latina. Congratulations, David. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, next up, I would like to call on stage Evelyn Roldan. Evelyn Roldan was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, on Puerto Rican ancestry. She is a graduate of Cleveland Public Schools and Cleveland State University, where she earned her degree in social work. Evelyn served as the president of Cleveland State University's Latinos Unidos for three years. She is a licensed social worker and a certified counselor and case manager. Evelyn has worked in a variety of social service realms. She began her career with the juvenile court system, but soon realized her passion was working within the community. Please welcome on stage, Evelyn. Buenas noches. I would like to dedicate this award to my mother. She was a community activist for more than 30 years and unfortunately, her life ended so early at the ripe age of 55. I'm almost there. But this goes to her because she instilled in me everything that I do every day. And I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and everybody who has supported me because it's not always easy. Some of you may have gotten some phone calls from me and they may have been colorful, but this is what I do for my people who need to navigate the social system, who don't know the language and who the system does not want to recognize. I am here and I promise every day in my job, that's what I do. I serve my community, Latina. Hueva Orgulla Boricua. Felicidades, everybody. Let's give her a round of applause, please. And we would like now to recognize the hard work of a handful of employees in the city of Cleveland who wake up every day to work very hard to make a difference in our communities. I would like to call stage Ellen Rivera, Quentin Canciones, Barbara Esteron, and Margarita Mason. Please welcome them with a round of applause.
Thank you, everybody. I appreciate this. It means a lot to me. I want to dedicate this to my mom and my dad. They came from Puerto Rico from Yabucoa and San Lorenzo in 1963. Raised me and my three siblings to respect, honor, and tribute anything like you. Our heritage is important to my family. So is the city of Cleveland. And I give every day, every day, cuts and bruises for the city because I'm Latino and I'm damn proud. Bonito que lo sepa. Congratulations, Edwin. He's a lot of the party he seems to be. And once again, congratulations to Quentin Cantiones, Barbara Esperon, and Margarita, Margarita Mason. We would like now to continue our program with a recognition, the 2022 Angel Guzman Outstanding Award, which is going to Luis Jimenez Jr. Luis Jimenez Jr. was born in 1950 in the small town of Uduago, Puerto Rico, to Luis Jimenez Sr. and Valeria Rodriguez. Luis grew up in Puerto Rico until the age of 17 when he moved to Cleveland, Ohio to join his father who had found work in the area. In 1972, Luis met his future wife, Nancy. They have been married for almost 50 years. I don't know what's the secret. And have two children and three grandchildren. Luis felt called to create a ministry where he could help the community worker serve the Lord with the help of his sister-in-law, a small business known as Libreria Cristiana Maranatha was created, formerly on Lorraine Avenue and currently on Fulton Road in Cleveland's West Side. Through his ministry, Luis has helped heal the sick through prayer, has helped counsel marriages and families, has spread the word of God, and has helped convert many souls to Christ. Iberia Cristiana Maranta has been a staple of the community for over 40 years. The store carries religious goods, music, and instruments, and helps to supply local churches with their teaching and service needs. Well, Luis is a caring, funny, and genuine person who is devoted to his family, friends, and God. In his spare time, he enjoys watching local sports and spending time with his family and friends. He is honored to have been able to serve his community all these years. Please, let's give Luis Jimenez Jr. a round of applause. Please stand up. I can speak too much in English. What I'm going to say in Spanish, okay? Tonight, English is half and half, okay? <laughs> Estoy agradecido de parte de Dios primeramente porque sin su ayuda, nada de esto podría llevarse a cabo. He gave me the strength to continue to work with the people of Cleveland, especially the West Side. And I'm grateful for you guys because you nominated me for this position. The glory I gave it to God. This is the only one. Yeah. Congratulations, Luis. Let's give him a round of applause. We're going to give the sponsors. Yeah, no, they have a, they have an award. I have not. I think we'll have to go ahead and take over. Yeah. Thank you, Jorge. Now we're going to have uh, the pleasure to give a small token the appreciation for our sponsors. Our diamond sponsor, Sloan Funeral Home, if you can actually come up here, please.
Yes. I just want to say thank you. I have a message here from my boss, from the staff, and this is what I say. Hola, amigos. Hi, my friends. Um, we are honored to receive this beautiful award from the city, and it's our pressure to be a sponsor tonight and every time that the city of Cleveland needs us to help. It's not only about the families, it's about community to work together. I'd like to thank Mr. Sloan, who is my big boss, the team at the Sloan and company, Joe, Nancy, Norma, Mary, Ms. Diaz, and the rest of the staff that is not available tonight to be here because they need to be at work. Again, thank you. Gracias for your support, and we're looking forward to continue to service our community every day, 24-7. Thank you. Congratulations, Sloan Carroll Home. We would like that to call on stage our two gold sponsors, Las Villas de Alien Pastries and Dignity Memorial. Please welcome them with a round of applause. It's Casa Funeraria Croatia. Thank you for this honor, I appreciate it. No, that's me, just Delia and Pacers. Congratulations. Muchísimas gracias. Espero que le haya gustado la comida exquisita. Y siempre estamos a su servicio para ustedes. Congratulations, Tasilla Stallion Pastries. And I can tell you, we have great alcaburrias, pastelillito, empanadilla, pastel. The list goes on and on and on. It's delicious. Now I would like to call on stage our silver sponsor, Amotec Staffing. Okay. Let's give them a round of applause. Oh, on behalf of Carmen Izo and the Izo family, it's been a pleasure getting to know many of the people in this room and throughout this month. We had a blast. Dance contest, dessert judging contest. I couldn't have asked for more. It was a pleasure. Amotech is happy to sponsor this event every year going forward. And I thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Olympic staffing. 
Now, we would like to call on stage our next silver sponsor, Duckport. Congratulations, Duckport. Let's welcome them with a round of applause. Good evening, everybody. Um, I am honored before God to be standing up here on behalf of Serato Corporation doing business as Cleveland Job Corps Center. And I exhort everybody here representing our huge, large, and beautiful Hispanic population to please join us. We are now open and enrolling, and we are offering a better future for today, providing hope through offering our young adults, ages 16 to 24, the option to receive free education and training and be certified in the trade of their choice. So here is a big crowd. And everywhere there is a crowd, there is a young adult that needs hope for a better future today. And we can provide it free education and training in the trade of their choice as a foundation to a future today. And it's totally free and it includes room and board. And we are honored and hopefully speaking on behalf of Mr. Serrato, I hope and pray that we can continue to sponsor activities such as these for our Hispanic community and beyond. I do want to just quickly allude to my team here. We have Mr. Perez. He is our property manager at Cleveland Job Corps, his lovely wife. My son, Wilfredo Espada, who is an act, a community activist and works for Serato and Job Corps for free. He does it for free. He doesn't get a salary, but his mom works for Job Corps, so therefore he is one of those volunteers that are drafted, and he is here tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Job Corps. Thank you, Dr. Corbett. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, I would like to call our last silver sponsor, La Vega Cleveland. Let's welcome them with a round of applause. La Vega, Claudia. Bueno, en inglés o en español. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much once again for, um, for joining us and obviously for confiding in our team. I know that Chris has been a great advocate of the Latino community and of our efforts to work together and to serve the community where we live. Um, many of us may not have been born in Cleveland like myself, but once you live here and once you know the warmth and you get to know the people that want to serve the community and be with the community, you really become a part of who we are. Whether or not you're Latino, um, it's something that grows on you. I lived in Cleveland for four years. I moved eventually back to Columbus where a corporate office is, but a part of my heart 
is still in Cleveland. And it's this wonder co wonderful community that I know that Chris has believed in from a very long time. And the city of Cleveland has truly set an example in the state of Ohio to acknowledge and showcase the wonderful heritage that we have as Latinos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia, Ramega, and congratulations. Yeah. Claudia Lago, the other Claudia, we also thank her for her hard work. Now, we would like to begin closing our ceremony, just thanking our three pageant queens from Miss Latina Image. We would like to welcome on the stage Naomi Trocoso, Miss Latina Image 2023. Liliana Miranda, Miss Latina Image First Winner Up 2023. And Sadia Ortiz, Miss Team Puerto Rico 2022. Let's just give them a round of applause for her hard work tonight. Congratulations, ladies. Let's welcome them with a round of applause for us. The Cuatro Amigos, our beautiful band who was playing for us tonight during dinner. Please join us on stage. This beautiful 2022 Hispanic Heritage Month ceremony in the city of Cleveland. I would like to welcome on stage Pastor Daniel Reyes. Would you bow your heads once again? And in honor of uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm going to pray in Spanish to close. Eterno y amante Dios, gracias por las distintas actividades que se llevaron a cabo en honor al mes de herencia hispana. Oramos que cada uno de estos, de una manera u otra, te haya dado honor y alabanza. Y ahora suplicamos que tu soberana y cuidadosa guianza sea con cada uno de nosotros mientras que hacemos camino hacia nuestro hogar, que dejemos este lugar tan repleto de alegría y satisfacción, que miremos en retrospectiva este evento y lo recordemos con cariño. Ayúdanos a servirte a ti mientras servimos a nuestro prójimo, sabiendo que aún el menor es muy querido de tu corazón. Pedimos esto en el nombre incomparable de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amén.
Thank you. Thank you, Pastor, and thank you to all of you who showed up here tonight. Um, I would like to say thank you to the city of Cleveland for um, hosting this ceremony, and thank you to every single one of you for celebrating this Medicare Heritage Month with us. I hope you all continue to celebrate your roots and your heritage, and just continue to be proud of that. And we'll see you next year. I would like to ask welcome to the stage, Chris, for some closing remarks. Thank you. What a great job, Jorge. Don't go anywhere. I want you to close. I just want to give you a small token of appreciation and recognition of what you always do for the community. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but this gentleman right here uh, actually got an award. Or an award? Yes. For two Emmys. Two Emmys in three programs, right? So it's an amazing, amazing person that is actually serving the community. I asked him to be part of the this event to the MC and he say yes right away. So on behalf of the city, the mayor, uh, the director of community relations, and everybody in here, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, Chris, and thanks to the city of Cleveland. To me, it's just an honor, you know. This Cleveland just welcomed me with open arms, open arms. Four years ago this week, when I moved here from New York City. Um, and I've never looked back since. Uh, you know, I've met many people who literally changed my life. Some of you are in this room tonight, and I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who welcomed me to this city when I knew literally nobody. And it's been an honor, it's been a pleasure, and I can't wait to see what's next for the city of Cleveland and all our communities. Thank you. Now we want to say thank you to our DJ exclusive, and uh, his, huh? Sip, and DJ Sip, a very wonderful job you guys did, thank you so much. Um, I just wanna say something, uh, before we leave today, this, this group of, I want you to stand up, please. Um, I call this amazing lady this, this afternoon and say, I need your help. I need someone to come here and play for the, this beautiful crowd from the city of Cleveland. In um, short notice, she say, yes, I do it. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to take the time and come here to play for this wonderful people. Thank you. At the same time, before I close and we can have some music and dance a little bit, I want to take the opportunity to, uh, I don't want to leave before I say uh, thank you to my supervisor uh, and team, pastors, uh, everyone in here, all the nominees, uh, the recognition. I also want to thank the MC uh, for being here with us today and the uh, keynote speaker. Uh, all the sponsors, thank you for everything you guys do every year for us. But before I leave, I want to say uh, thank you for my family that actually came from out of town. Uh, my brothers, you know, my stepsisters, my son, my dad. And my fiance is somewhere, I don't know where she is, uh, but I want to thank everyone. But before I leave too, I also want to thank um, Lisha Navarro. Uh, I don't know where Lisha is. Lisha is right there. Uh, I want you to give a round of applause to her. She actually is the one that decorate the activities that I put together this year. Uh, she did a wonderful job, and thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I hope you guys have a wonderful time uh, today this evening and um, hope to see you next year. Thank you.